the ASML Group is an industry leader in construction, civil engineering, manufacturing, agriculture and services. It stands out as a model of success in Africa. Companies such as Cement of Mauritania, MCE, Top Lay and Top Technology are the pillars of the ASML Group. To execute a colossal project such as the development of the new Nouakchott International Airport, the ASML Group capitalized on its longtime partnership with Aon and established Naja for major work. The place, 20 kilometers north of Nouakchott. The time, 27 November, 2011. The president of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, Mr. Mohamed Ouled Abdelaziz, leads the groundbreaking ceremony and lays the cornerstone. The actual work began mid-July, 2012. The new Nouakchott International Airport is a vital economic hub in its strategic position as a gateway to North Africa. This facility also naturally consolidates the long-distance transport flow from America, Asia, and the Middle East. The new Nouakchott International Airport is the outcome of an original partnership between the public and private sectors. Nadja for Major Works undertook the study, financing, works, and delivery of the project in accordance with the international navigation standards. The airport connections to water and electricity networks, fuel reservoirs, and construction of a seven kilometer long road leading to the airport were undertaken by the Mauritanian government and were state funded. The Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, AFESD, financed air navigation aid devices and runway lighting. NMWSA received 450 hectares of virgin prime real estate property on the edges of Nouakchott. NMWSA will develop, urbanize and commercialize this real estate as payment for the project. The airport has an annual capacity of 2 million passengers. Its infrastructure can accommodate all types of aircraft, including the Airbus 380. The runways have been designed to ensure takeoff and landing in the most challenging wind direction. Four hundred thousand cubic meters of concrete have been used, enough to construct two 80,000 spectator football stadiums. The development of the airport has been carried out in accordance with the guidelines of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, and the International Air Transport Association, IATA. To achieve these high standards, Naja for Major Works used the services of two internationally accredited construction bureaus, namely Pay Mascotas and Veritas. All design delivered was approved through these organizations. The Mauritanian government issued an international tender and selected the renowned French bureau Aegis International to control the works and ensure they meet international standards. The runways have been designed to accommodate aircraft such as the Boeing B747 and the Airbus A380. The total area of aircraft parking, or aprons, is 127,000 square meters. The passenger terminal has been designed with two runways in mind. All designs left future extension possible towards a capacity of 10 million passengers per annum. The number and location of equipment in the passenger terminal allows smooth passenger movement and transition. It also encompasses a hall for transit, a VIP lounge, duty-free shops, a prayer room, restaurants, toilets, and other amenities. The passenger terminal is equipped with six boarding bridges leading to and from aircraft. One of those bridges has been designed specifically for the Airbus 380. The control tower is 38 meters high. The actual height of the cabin floor is selected based on various criteria such as the line of sight to the farthest point of the area being controlled, as well as the visibility of critical areas. An air navigation technical support facility is located under the control cabin with a surface of 1.950 square meters. The maintenance area has been designed to accommodate aircraft such as the Airbus A310 and Boeing B737-800, among others. This area is composed of a hangar, workshop, stores, and offices to ensure a smooth and efficient workflow. The hangar frame is steel, sitting on concrete pillars. A cargo terminal with a 5,000 square meter surface is made available on the airport premises, 
and its dedicated apron of 26.400 square meters can host two B-747 jumbo jets at the same time. The Presidential Pavilion has been designed to be completely independent of the rest of the airport. It lies at the end of the main runway, which allows the Presidential aircraft to take off and land directly from and to the area, avoiding long taxis. It consists of a main hall, 900 square meters large, with seven meter high, awe-inspiring ceilings. On each side of the main hall is an annex. One annex is designed for government officials, such as ministers, and the other for VIPs and diplomats. At the entrance of the terminal sits a 600-car parking area, complete with greenery and waterfalls. With the exception of stone quarries, cement and water, Najah for Major Works made strenuous efforts to import all the equipment, heavy and light, from various markets outside the country. This required the company to establish parallel infrastructures that would enable the development of the airport. The following are some of the equipment imported. 